Hey guys, she up here, and I just got done watching the Joaquin Phoenix Joker trailer. I hope I'm saying his name right, by the way. And I just got done watching that, and it got me thinking about Jared Leto's Suicide Squad Joker and why that was bad. And I'm going to give you my take on that, and then I'll eventually get back around to talking about the trailer. So, my take when I first saw this Joker was that he was just going to be this gangster dude. Honestly, I didn't feel any type of Joker vibes about him. Honestly, if you just took everything away, I was hell, I was gonna say take the suits and stuff away, but his suits are just gangster type of suits. You know what I mean? It's not like it's the Joker suit. Like any person, any gangster could wear this suit. So honestly, they should have just had him as a straight gangster and just left it like that. Honestly, and just take the Joker away. I'd rather him have been his own character and maybe being under Harley Quinn instead. Maybe have him submissive to Harley Quinn, and the reason Harley Quinn does that to him is because of how the Joker treated Harley Quinn, and so it's like a vice versa situation. Now Harley Quinn is treating this new guy how the Joker used to treat her. I honestly think they would have should have did that. Make Harley Quinn just more of the star and wait on the Joker, or have the Joker later, maybe cast someone else, maybe Joaquin Phoenix now, and do that. Honestly, I think that would have worked way better and just give him a different type of role. Also, for me, the way Joker goes about his plans is different. And in this movie, they really just made his plans simplistic. And simplistic can be okay if it surprises us. But none of his plans surprises us. If he wants to get money, he gets money. If he wants to kill someone, he kills someone. Now, he might do a crazy about way to get there. But at the end of the day, we pretty much know what he's thinking. We should never know what the Joker is thinking to me. We should never, ever, ever know. He should always be unpredictable. Yeah, we might. he might do what we thought he was going to do. But he could do it in a different way and a way we don't see coming. This Joker, every time I knew what he wanted, I knew what he wanted to do. Like, he, like I said, he might do it crazy, but we know what he wanted to do. For example, if we take the Heath Ledger Joker... I didn't really know what his plan was, honestly, until the end was revealed. But of course, you know, the end is the end was, of course, spoiler. He wanted Harvey Dent to become evil because he was such this good guy and this hope, symbol of hope. And that was his whole plan. But we didn't get that throughout the movie. Right now, he's just doing crazy shit. Now, we know there's probably a bigger plan behind it. But we never really know as the movie goes on. And even at first, we think it's about Batman mask, which it probably has something to do with it. Like getting Batman's mask off and finding out who Batman was. But the main point was, of course, to get Harvey, Harvey Dent to fall. And when he failed, the Joker really won until they changed the plan up. And, you know, for the spoiler of the movie, the Joker didn't get what he wanted. But that was his plan and that was a plan we did not know until the end mark hamill's joker changes all the time and what i mean by that is first he wants to kill someone then he wants some money then he wants this then he wants that it changes every time and that's what the joker is he's unpredictable we don't know what mark hamill's joker is going to do from each episode but he changes each time so we can't really get accustomed to one type of joker and that's why to me he's the best he can be joking, he can be sadistic, all these traits Mark Hamill can put in the Joker. And of course, even his sadistic side can be funny, it's still sadistic and it's still a dark side and he's still able to incorporate that into that Joker. And he's able to incorporate the funniness, the comic book nature of the character. To me, Mark Hamill does that the best and that's why to me he's the best Joker. But on to Jared Leto again, honestly, they should have just casted Jared Leto as a different character something completely different honestly he could have made a good jigsaw i really think he could have made a great jigsaw from the punisher really think he could have killed that uh you don't even have to change that much for this type of character with jigsaw uh just make his face more ugly that's all you gotta do but yeah i just feel like they dropped the ball here with the script honestly the script did not do the joker any favors from casting him to how they played him, and to the material they gave him. As for Joaquin Phoenix, I think he looks like he's going to play a really good Joker. 
He looks like it from the trailer. Anything could happen. But he looks like he can play a really good one. My only question is how we're going to do this movie. Because it seems like it's an origin story. And to me, that actually sounds like a bad idea. And here's why. The Joker never has an origin story. If we know the origin, the character loses a lot of its mystique. Because the whole point of the Joker is we don't know how he got that way. Now, there are some things that we do know about his origin. But for the most part, everything is up for, you know, debate. Nothing, nothing is set in stone with for him, for the most part. And now, you're going to give us all of that? I mean, yeah, you can do it right, of course. But I'm just saying, that kind of takes away from the character. We don't know how he got here. I mean, Heath Ledger's Joker just showed up one day and just started doing stuff. There was no backstory and we didn't need one. Mark Hamill's, same thing. Jack Nicholson's, we got some background story there, but for the most part, it's still a lot of details to be filled in. We don't know how... I mean, we know how he got to become the Joker, but we don't know all of the stuff in his early past. We don't know his relationships, the people he was with. We just know he was a gangster. Batman chased him. He fell into the chemical bat. That's all we know from the Jack Nicholson one. We don't know a lot of the other details. Oh, and of course, he killed Bruce Wayne's parents. But outside of that, we don't know what he was. This Joker seems like he's going through all the relationships from, I guess that's his mom, girlfriend, whatever. We're going to see a lot of how he was before he became the Joker. And that's never been the case, ever. So, you gotta really do that right. Which they can do, like I said. But you're taking away a lot of the mystery from the character that made him great. Now, I'm not saying this movie's gonna be bad. Don't get me wrong. I don't know yet. I don't know. I haven't seen it. And I can't tell from the trailer if the movie's gonna be bad. There's some trailers you can tell, like, from the jump. That is not gonna work. <laughs> That's not gonna work. And this one actually looks like it's gonna work, but you know, you never know. There are some things that we legit know about the Joker's past. For example, the Red Hood. We know that it was involved when he fell into the chemicals. Also, another thing that we can take as legit is that he was involved in some type of gang during that time. Now, we don't know if he was a part of it. We don't know if he was tricked into it by the gang. But we do know that he was involved with something gang related when it happened or with criminals. Something happened. We don't know if he took part of it willingly because some people will have it, have it, you know, where he's part of the gang and he's actually participating in it. So we don't know. We don't know that part. We also know he was probably working around chemicals because he knows how to make Joker toxins and Joker gas. Now, we don't know how he learned it. But it's safe to assume that he was working for a chemical plant. My final thoughts for this upcoming movie is I'm not sure how this is going to translate. I hope it works out because DC is actually starting to get their shit together, it looks like. So, I hope it does good. Competition is where we win. So, I really hope it does good. And I'm just really not sure about it going into his history like that. But who knows? Maybe when the movie comes out, this was just short bits of his history and it's completely something different. Who knows? I just hope that if they do go that route and show his history, that translate well and they gotta do it well. Because if they don't do it well, everything's fucked up. You can't fuck up on the foundation. So. Anyway, that's it, y'all. That's all I wanted to talk about. See you about Peace.